Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Incidentally, a while back, I stumbled upon some intriguing images on one of my frequently visited Telegram channels. These captivating images depict the concept of the moon as a mere reflection of our very own world. Upon scrutinizing them closely, I couldn't help but ponder over the sheer awe-inspiring notion of it all. What are your thoughts on this fascinating subject matter? Don't hesitate to share your views in the comment section below. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Deep in the heart of Tamil Nadu, nestled amongst the lush green trees and sprawling fields, stands the Varamurthyswara Temple. For centuries, this temple has been a place of worship and pilgrimage for the faithful, who come to offer their prayers to the deities enshrined within its walls. But there is something else about this temple that has mystified scholars and scientists alike for centuries. The stone carvings that adorn its walls. Etched into the hard granite are scenes that seem to defy belief. Images of the human body, from conception to birth. As one passes through the temple, one can see the different stages of pregnancy, each one more detailed and intricate than the last. And then, at the very end, comes the most startling depiction of all. The moment of fertilization. It is a scene that is almost impossible to comprehend, even in our modern age of science and technology. And yet, there it is, carved into the walls of this ancient temple, thousands of years before the discovery of these very cells. For years, scholars and scientists have studied the carvings, trying to unravel the mystery of how these ancient people could have known about such things. Maybe they already know the answer, but we know for ourselves how messed up our history is. These carvings are certainly evidence of an ancient civilization that was far more advanced than we could ever imagine. There is no denying the power and beauty of these carvings. They are a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the human spirit, and a reminder that there is still so much we have yet to discover about the world around us. What do you think? Deep in the heart of the Democratic Republic of Congo lies a treasure trove of precious minerals, hidden away from the rest of the world. For years, the world has known about the abundance of coltan and lithium in the country, but few have dared to venture into the uncharted territories where the real wealth lies. It was only recently that someone stumbled upon something extraordinary. A strange ore that had never been seen before, Unlike coltan or lithium, this mysterious mineral was electrically charged, producing its own energy. Rumors started spreading that it was the real-life version of Wakanda's vibranium, the mythical metal that powered the advanced technology of the Black Panther's kingdom. As news of the discovery spread, the world took notice. Governments, corporations, and cartels all vied for a piece of the pie. 
The race for control of the new resource began, and soon, the peaceful lands of Congo were turned into a battlefield. The government was powerless to stop the exploitation of their country, and the people were caught in the middle of a power struggle between the powerful entities that sought to control the new resource. What do you think? Listen up, you young whippersnappers. Don't you dare believe everything these so-called experts and scientists tell you. They don't know what they're talking about. It's all a bunch of political hogwash designed to scare you into submission. I've been listening to this garbage for 50 years now, and let me tell you. It's all a bunch of hot air. Back in the 1960s, they told us that oil would be gone in 10 years. Did it happen? No, of course not. Then in the 1970s, they warned us of another ice age in 10 years. Did it happen? Hell no. And in the 1980s, they claimed acid rain would destroy all our crops within a decade. Did it happen? Nope, not even close. And let's not forget the 1990s, when they said the ozone layer would be destroyed in 10 years. Did that happen? Absolutely not. And in the 2000s, they started going on about how the ice caps would be gone in 10 years. Well, guess what? They're still here. But what did all these false predictions result in? More taxes, that's what. The government used these scare tactics to squeeze more money out of hardworking Americans. And for what? To fund their pet projects and line their own pockets. So don't be fooled, brothers. Don't fall for their lies and propaganda. It's all about politics, not science. And if you want to know the truth, you'll have to dig deeper and think for yourself. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.